Hi everyone. Singles prices and box prices are dropping as uh, even as I record this on the day of release uh, of Rise of the Floodborne, <clears throat> I think certain cards, especially Legends, dropped as much as half just during the day. Um, you know, boxes uh, are a lot lower than, you know, set one release at least on day one. So I'm hoping that means the store's got more product. Hopefully it stays that way. We don't get a huge spike again in two weeks at the retail release, but who knows? Uh, that being said, <clears throat> I'm going to do this, record this now. I'll wait till probably early next week, take a look at the prices, add pricing to the cards here so that we all have an idea of, you know, maybe what things are settled at a little bit after release weekend. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> uh, I think, yep, these have the seal. A little bit off centered here. Maybe it would help if I was using the sharp side of the knife, huh? Cut, cut. Tear this tab. And we're in. All right. Rise of the Floodborne. <coughs> so many super fun cards. So many more interactions. And while I'm, you know, maybe not a huge fan of a lot of the enchanteds, there are several that are still beautiful. All right, we're going to go through this pretty quickly. This card seems great and limited. <clears throat> I think resist is going to be very good. Uh, you know, this with you know multiple oops, sorry <clears throat> multiple bodyguards with uh, these things protecting like Lilo and Pinocchio to cost Pinocchio the quest for three. Yeah, this seems like a pretty good good card. All right, Prince John. I think that's going to be good. Merlin. I think it's going to be good as well. <clears throat> sorry, Arthur, not Merlin. He's not there yet. All right. It's in. Uh, you know, I'm curious about this. Like, Challenger 3 is very relevant in this format. Um, and singing it is good, but I don't know if it's worth a card. Because you're still... I mean, when you trade up, though, I guess, is trading up is very good. Um, I'll say that. All right. Madam Mim. Prince Charming. Ooh. Foil Rare. Hercules. <clears throat> Popsicle is a common. I want to see all the popsicles. CP Sploot, Cinderella, and a boom. Yeah, Sleepy Sploot intrigues me. I kind of want to put together an Amber Amethyst song deck, maybe with Fairy Godmother. At the idea's brewing. Let's see what happens. All right, dinner bell. Chief Bogo. Kind of the only mass removal, I think, in the set, but it could be pretty good. And a Verana foil. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Hearts. Yeah, so I, I think I maybe thought that this dealt damage to damage characters. This is, I mean, yeah, I mean, it does it does work. Uh, there's a 4-1 Radigan with Evasive, right? This just offset. <laughs> so it's quite, uh, quite a swing. There's the mouse armor that I've been thinking about. Um, okay, it is uninkable, but this card is amazing. Can you imagine it in multiples? Um, use it for free every turn and make your challenges just better. Well, Lucifer. Oh, interesting card. Didn't um, see it in action. Five cost on Inkable is unfortunate. <clears throat> Super rare, very nice. As well. Apparently this card is, I mean, again, things are in flux, but I think it's like 75 cents. Um, Yeah, I guess people are really down on this card. I don't know. I don't know why. I guess it has no other ability besides being a 3-4 for 3 that draws. I, I don't know. I, I'd like to play around with it. But uh, that being said, I do have a soft spot for great mouse detectives. So. 
see if we can get it to work. Dragon Gem. Seems like it has potential. I don't understand this card, Noi. Um, I mean, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe can quest for two a couple times early on. Yeah, I, I don't know. And Cruella. That does not belong there. There we go. Let's keep going. <clears throat> oh, no legends yet. We're almost a third of the way through. Jasmine. Blah, blah, blah. It's just Timon. What's up with that? But there are shift cards for Jasmine, I suppose. <clears throat> you can fly. Bounce. Madam Mim. Yeah, it's alright. Oh, there we go. First legend. Alice. Very nice. We'll see how she does. And a foil dwarf. Yes, slowly, slowly getting my way to <laughs> to uh, collecting some foil Snow White and Dwarf deck. <clears throat> Nothing else. It'll just be just be fun. And I think uh, that deck. I mean, maybe not like super, super powerful, but I think it's, it's got potential. All right, Radigan. Did not get to interact with this card, so I don't know. And Araya, super rare. And a foil Cruella. Both Cruellas in foil. Okay. All right, let me know what you're chasing. I'm uh, currently looking for uh, probably Arthur's Winnie the Pooh's. Uh, obviously the Snow White and Seven Doors, but there's a lot of a lot of cool stuff in this set. Very exciting. Kronk, Junior Chipmunk, Cobra Bubbles, and Foil Crab. All right. <clears throat> All right. Hoping for a not a three legend box. <laughs> Hoping not to jinx myself here. This card does some work. Uh, I misplayed against it. Um, luckily, I still won the match, but it definitely cost me a game where I um, thought Judy Hops was a 2 3. She is a 3 3 and played her instead of a, probably a like Cruella or something um, that could have you know dealt with this in one turn. So I got to quest a lot more. This is the last stand I was talking about. Um, good against Cinderella. Uh, sorry, I might be mixing it up with another video. Good against Cinderella if you can put one damage on Cinderella. <laughs> or actually, no, you don't even need to deal damage. Just challenge it. All right, Binding Contract. Another Super Rare. And another Super Rare. Oh, I think I forgot that this card existed. Not Shift. There's a four-cost Dr. Facilia that's also evasive. Interesting that there's so many Dr. Facilias. Oh, it's got the Jasper ability. Yeah. Oh, foil bibbity bobbity boo, nice. Um, yeah, an opponent play uh, this on a copy of their own Yzma to uh, let them take out two of my large creatures' characters. <coughs> and I think that's what I was referring to is um, for damage, it's uh, the Cheshire, the large Cheshire cat. Get a damage onto Cinderella so that you can use that uh, Cheshire cat ability. Gumbo Pot, better than I thought it'd be. I mean, it does, it does stuff. Sleepy, I think this is fine. It does kind of suck going second, um, since there's a decent number of 3-2s for 2, but then you're just trading, probably, right? Unless they have something that trades favorably with this. The fact that it comes in exerted on turn 2 is not a big deal. I'm uh, uh, okay with that. Mini Mouse, Evasive. I, I was actually past 2 of the Diver, and I was upset to have to pass them, but I, just, I don't know if it's good enough. Evasive is not super unique in the set so you know and you don't really want to shift it it's basically just like a a four cost floodborne where you're trying to get the floodborne effect at least that's what it feels to me love the art on the card though of course but all right pack tactics mickey mouse super rare all right Ooh, foil cinderella very nice super rare foil I think we kind of already knew this, but yeah, it's, you know, reminder that the foil legends feel like one a case. So 
so they're almost as rare as enchanted or possibly rarer than enchanted and it's just rough to to try to pull them all right gruesome and grim falling down the rabbit hole I think I actually knew what this card does. Interesting. Can be very good in the right situations. Another Foil Dwarf. One of the best ones for the Dwarf deck. Potentially three cost card if you have a Snow White in play. You can play it. You can play turn two Snow White, turn three Bashful. And then play another Dwarf on turn four and draw. Or sorry, and, and just get three lore. Oh, it is also called Magic Brew. Oh, industrial model. <laughs> okay, we need to talk about this card. This is an uncommon. Whenever one of your characters challenges another character, you may draw a card. If you have anything on the board that's ready to challenge, you play this and immediately draw a card or two. That's not even talking about if you have shift and you can challenge with this. This thing is amazing and limited. I don't know if it'll be any good and constructed, but yeah. Honest John. Mufasa. Alright, second legendary and a foil Hercules. Alright. Ready, ready to build that Mufasa deck. I think that's a card that dropped from you know twenty dollars this morning down to, to maybe ten. I, I haven't checked again yet, so again, uh, I will be posting the, the prizes for this because it's very interesting um, you know how this is Maybe similar or different from set one. Hercules, Super Rare Tiana, Foil, Maurice's Workshop. Um, I'm interested in that card. Uh, I am uh, very curious to see if, if <laughs> there's a deck that can make it work. Hardest part is just staying alive right now. Um, you will just, any aggro deck will just stomp you if you're trying to do a bunch of card draw shenanigans. Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Another Marisa's Workshop and a Foil Go the Distance. All right, this is uh, not looking good here. Let's uh, hope we pick up the pace of the Legends in this last third. Jasmine, let's see here. The Goat, which one's this one? Game one lore. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if anyone's got a combo built on that yet. Uh, this Dwarf is just a good card. Um, it's Ramp. Christopher Robin, I want to break this card. We'll see what happens here. Merlin and a foil Radigan. All right, yeah, really need <laughs> these of these two, if not more legends in this last bit. Oh, how rough. Dazzle Rapunzel. All right, there's the Minnie Mouse Diver. There's a Grand Pabby Super Rare. And a foil Queen of Hearts, the uncommon we're talking about. Okay. Oh, James. Queen. Turn two Queen is a thing. Could sing a five cost card on turn two. <laughs> this card is interesting. I mean, this effect only exists on Dragonfire, basically, right? And Maleficent, like takes a turn to use unfortunately but all right not the most exciting legend for me to pull but another legend madam m and early in this last third so hopefully we can get more so jumbo pot all right i was hoping grumpy would be better but you know maybe he is really good in the dedicated deck we'll, we'll see mouse armor all right, Queen of Hearts. Uh, yeah, this was played pretty effectively against me a couple times. Seems good. Flynn. And, oh, Foil Queen. Pinocchio. Yzma. And a Foil Robin Hood. Duke. I need to find out what cards this actually affects. This card was so good to me and sealed. 
that I first picked it in the draft. If you're interested in the draft video, please take a look. The person on my right, unfortunately, was also drafting items, though, slightly differently. Um, so it did not work out well for me. But this card, uh, I think someone was mentioning that there's a construction deck built around this already. Because, yeah, I see it. It draws a lot. And a foil chip with the cup. Last three pack. Some magic, please. Easy, Jiminy Cricket. Am I wishing upon a star? I say that's pretty swell. Will I say that after I see these rares? Shere Khan, solid, solid card. McQueen, super rare. And oh, foil, another foil. No, actually, there's a foil rare, so maybe I can still get a foil legend. Or oh wait, uh, yeah, because I only have one foil super rare right now. That's right. Sorry, I put the rares over the doors. So that's what went wrong. It's not okay. Now, I'm pretty sure, not 100% sure, but somebody pulled a enchanted beast in a box that was near this one. So I don't know if, uh, <laughs> if it's the one per case that they got. So I'm not really expecting an enchanted, but hopefully another legend. Wait, set. There we go, Beast. Take it. Seems like a strong card. Foil Baloo. All right, can we make it five just uh, for the heck of it on the last one? And uh, it'd be interesting if we only get one foil super rare in here. That would be a little sad. Maybe we can get a foil legend here in this very last pack of packs. Cinderella. I'm a fan of this card. Uh, Pete and... Foil Uncommon Cheshire Cat. So I'm a little curious. Is that really only one foil uh, super rare in this? Did I miss one? I did. No. I've just mixed up piles. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. It's been a long day, right? My excuse. Well... Uh, that's a little unfortunate. Um, only four legends. Um, I don't know that these are necessarily considered the great ones. Um, the Steel One Beast is not bad, and Alice is popular. I don't. We'll see how strong Alice is, but I think that you know Bell's obviously a chase. I think the Green Beast also, um, but it's always fun to open product, and I got two full of doors, so very happy. Oh, and a full of Christopher Robin too. All right, well, you'll see this up soon. And uh, I wish you all better luck than this in your Rise of the Floodboard opening. As always, thank you for watching.